right now at five, a woman's grief over the loss of her sister. The outpouring of love. I appreciate it so much. And I'm hurting for her friends and her chit chat family who loved her so much. Police say the victim murdered by her own husband. Tonight, how police were first led to a victim buried in her backyard. And detectives say Patrick Palmer killed his wife and then went to great lengths to try to hide his crime. He appeared before a judge for the first time today and his wife's family was there to face her accused killer. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live tonight at the Broward Jail where Palmer is being held. Joan. And Rick Bruda Bay, this murder happened nearly two weeks ago, but it took some time for police to find the body and to put this crime together. Now, the man who is in jail, they say, went to an elaborate length to cover everything up. And the sister of the victim came to court to face him. She said she had to be a voice for the sister she lost. The good times were plenty at Chit Chat's Bar and Grill in Pompano Beach, as seen in this Facebook video. At the center of those celebrations, always owner and manager Sherry Palmer. She was my everything. She was my everything. And she's gone. Mickey McCarthy is in disbelief over her sister's violent death and that the man accused of ending her life was her husband, Patrick Palmer, who operated the bar with her. Good morning, sir. Palmer's in jail being held on a charge of murder, faced a judge for the first time and was given no bond. Broward Sheriff investigators say Patrick Palmer engaged in an elaborate cover-up in the days after his wife's death to make everyone believe she was alive. The victim was shot twice in the head. I have no comment for Patrick. I have no comment. The popular chit chat bar the couple operated remains closed. Flowers and tributes to Sherry Palmer are piled in front. Her ever present smile, compassion, and friendship are noted in a moving obituary posted on the door. The outpouring of love. I appreciate it so much. At the couple's now empty home, a boat and several cars are in the driveway. It was here a week ago. Detectives made the gruesome discovery. Witnesses reported hearing gunshots on the evening of April 14th. That triggered a welfare check. Detectives say they found blood in several rooms and Patrick Palmer bleeding from his injuries. Investigators found the victim's body in the backyard wrapped in several tarps. Near the body, detectives say they found a shovel and shallow grave. This man, who's known the couple for several years, can't accept that Patrick Palmer is now an accused killer. I mean, knowing Pat, you never think in the wildest dreams you would ever hurt Trevor. Now, Patrick Palmer was in the hospital a few days because of injuries to his arms, but BSO says they were self-inflicted wounds. The family of Sherry Palmer is planning a private funeral, and they say donations can be made in her name to the Broward Humane Society. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.